Gary Johnson here, and welcome to Fresh Manna. The word of the Lord for today comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 28 and verse number 8. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God, that you may possess this good land and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. This is David's charge to Solomon. Notice what he says partway through the verse. Keep and seek. Keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God that you may possess this good land. Keep and seek the commandment so you can possess the land. David's charge to Solomon. If you want success, if you want to possess the land, then you must seek out and keep all the commandments of the Lord. Find out what the Lord wants you to do through the word and through prayer, and then do it. Now, this truth is echoed throughout the scriptures, like Hebrews 11, verse 6, where the, we are told that the Lord is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. There are so many benefits listed throughout the scriptures of seeking the Lord. We're told in this particular passage that if we seek the Lord, we will possess the land. Psalms 24 tells us that the blessing is reserved for the generation that will seek the Lord. Psalms 119 says that those that seek the Lord will walk in liberty, which is a wide and prosperous place. Psalms 34 tells us that those that seek the Lord will understand all things. No more confusion. Oh, praise God for that. Amos 5 teaches us that those that seek the Lord will have and enjoy life. And Jesus said, those that seek first the kingdom of God, all these things will be added unto us. Now, taking time to seek the Lord through the word and prayer may require you to adjust your schedule. It's like I know of people over the years that have had to make uh, doctor's appointments with specialists. and Maybe those appointments are three or four months down the road. And they will adjust their entire schedule, take time off work, adjust their vacation plans. They'll do whatever they have to to get into that appointment because they believe that doctor has the insights that they need for their lives. Well, in the same way, you and I, we need to do what we need to do. You need to do what you need to do to take the time to seek the Lord, to pray and to listen, to worship and to listen, to read the word and to listen, yield to the Holy Spirit, pray in the Holy Spirit and then listen. And then listen. Not listen with your ears, but listen inside. Pray. And listen. Worship the Lord. Lord, I seek you. Lord, I seek you. I seek your glory. I seek your face. And pray, and listen, and read some scripture, and listen, and pray, and listen, and worship, and listen. And as you do that, the Lord will begin to speak to you, and he'll show you what you need to do, and what you need to say, in order to possess your land. I like what Hosea 10, verse number 12 says in God's word. Break new ground, plant righteousness, and harvest the fruit that your loyalty will produce for me. It's time to seek the Lord. When he comes, he will rain righteousness on you.